I see, Grishenka. The young lady has gone to fetch a goose. They asked for a goose, and off she runs to fetch it. You have to watch these young ladies, though. They say, I only went to fetch a goose. Then it turns out to be something quite different. Oh, really? If it isn't a 15-pound goose, and I haven't slept it with corn, I'll eat it with feathers. So you've been down by the river again? At the goose farm? Not down by the willows? The willows? What do you mean exactly? Why shouldn't I wash my linen near the willows? Why shouldn't I wash my willow, linen near the willows? That's a good one, that is. I don't understand the soldier. What's so good about it? If someone knew what someone told, she'd grow hot, she'd grow cold. I don't even know what I can know about any willows. What happens there? Perhaps something can be seen. Could the soldier mean that once in a while I put my toes into the water? The toes and a bit more. Oh, my foot. My foot at maximum. And a bit more. Son, Chava, you ought to be ashamed to sit in a bush on a hot day and wait till someone goes to put her leg in the river. Most likely with another shoulder. Never with another shoulder, Grusha. I must ask the lady a very particular question. The city is burning down all around us and the governors are to be hanged. Each of us will be left alone. I have received words to go off with the palace guard to accompany Madame Natalia Avoshvili as her guard. But hasn't the palace guard mutiny? That they have. Isn't it dangerous to accompany the woman? In Tiflis they say, how can stabbing harm the knife? You're not a knife, Simon Shiva, you're a man. And this woman has nothing to do with you. She has nothing to do with me, but I have my orders, so off I go. But I must ask you a question. As there's a hurry, we oughtn't to quarrel. For a good quarrel, one needs time. May I ask if the young lady still has parents? No, only a brother. As time is short, the second question would be, is she as healthy as a fish in water? Oh, most of the time. I'm strong enough for any work. So far, no one has complained. Everyone knows that. Even if it's Easter Sunday, she runs off to fetch the goose. And the third question is this. Is the young lady impatient? Does she want cherries in the wintertime? Simon Chiava, I'm not impatient, but if a man goes to war without any reason and no message comes, that's bad. Hurry, they say, is the wind that blows on the scaffolding. I come from Kutz. The lady has already made inquiry. I'm healthy, have no dependents, earn ten piastres a month as a payment of twenty, and I'm asking honorably for your hand. Simon Chiava, that suits me. Thank you, Simon, but I must really go. Grusha! I'll just take the wound to the troops who remain loyal. When the wars are all come back, in two weeks or three, I hope my intended won't get tired waiting for me. Thank you, Grusha, and farewell. Grusha! As usual, nobody's paying attention to me. I hardly know if I'm standing on my head or my feet. Where's Michael? Don't hold him so clumsily. Pile the trunks into the carriage. Chalva, is there any word from the governor? Any news from the town? Only essentials. Quick, open the trunk. I'll tell you what I've got to have. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Just put him down for a moment and fetch my little Morocco sister from the bedside. I need him to go with the green belt. Don't stand around, all of you. Stay here, I'll have you flogged. Just look at the way these things have been packed. No love, no understanding. If one doesn't give every order oneself, at such moments one realizes what servants are like. Masha! 
You won't tell yourself never to sign a gratitude. I won't forget this. Natasha, you must leave at once. Or Benelli, judge of the Supreme Court, has just been hanged. The carpet reapers are in revolt. Why? I must have a silver dress. It costs a thousand piastres. And one there. Oh, my furs. And where's the wine color dress? Riots have broken out. We've got to leave this minute. Get the child ready. Where are you? We must be without the carriage and ride. I can't find the wine color dress. Ah! Get into the carriage. Run, run! Once they start, they follow, follow the whole town. Grisha, what are you doing here? And why do you have the child? She asked me to just hold him for a minute. I think she'll be back in a moment. Didn't you hear? Better put him down. She just asked me to hold him for a moment. There'll be more after him than his mother. She's the heir, you know. Grusha, you're a good soul, but you know you're not too bright. I tell you, if you had the plague, it couldn't be worse. Better see to you that you get away. He hasn't got the plague. He looks at you like you're a human being. Well, all right then. I'll sit with you just for a minute. Don't look back. You're just the kind of fool who gets put upon. Someone says to you, run and get the lettuce. You have the longest legs. You run. We're taking the ox cart. You can have a lift if you hurry. Jesus, by now the whole neighborhood, neighborhood must be in place. I'm coming soon. Well, Grusha, you need to come. You need to come now. As she was standing between courtyard and gate, she heard a thought, she heard a low voice. The child called to her, not whining, but calling quite sensibly. For at least it seemed to her, Woman, it said, help me. Not calming, not whining, but calming sensibly. Don't you know, woman, if you don't listen to a cry for help, but pass by shutting your ears, then you'll never hear the gentle call of a lover, nor the black bird at dawn, nor the happy sigh of the great picker at the sound of Hearing this, she went back to the child, just for one look, to sit with him, that's all it is. For a moment, maybe two, till someone came, his mother or someone else. Just for a moment, before she left, for oh, now the danger was too great The city full of flame and grief But soon it would be too late Terrible is the temptation to do good She thought she would not but soon she was For a long time she sat with that child Evening came, night came, dawn came Too long she sat, too long she watched Soft breathing, little fist Till towards morning the temptation grew too strong 
she rose, leaned over and sang. She lifted the child, she carried it on. Like booty she took for herself. Like a thief she sneaked away.